I'd like to find that kind of leftover inner child in an adult viewer, because I think it's really easy to kind of get the, the younger audience to be smitten with the work. And the question is, how do you kind of hold the attention of, of the older viewer in the work? My name is Paolo Salvagioni, and the work that I've created for the Contemporary Jewish Museum is called Rope Fountain. My practice involves um, people, sculptural elements, um, coming together using familiar in an unfamiliar way to create an experience that kind of hopefully activates a sense of wonder in the viewer. I've been thinking about doing water-based works in a gallery or a museum setting for a while, and it's not easy to get a museum or a gallery <laughs> curator to allow you to bring in fountains into a gallery. So I started kind of looking into ways of bringing that, um, that motion, those kind of elements, that visual vocabulary into a gallery space. What, how could I do that? What would be the, the method of doing it? The piece that I created for NEAT uses an endless loop of rope and a motor to move the rope through space in create geometries or shapes that are unusual, half a dozen of them choreographed together, revealing this sense of the space and the place around them in a way that is interesting and delightful. I mean, and there is a playful nature in the work. There's also the sense of the trickster in the work. There's some childhood memories of fountains, the big industrial fountains like at Bellagio. Also, synchronized swimming, there's some of that in it. Historically, um, Jewish collectors have been at the forefront of um, different movements and often have shown that work in the venues that have been available to them to show that work. And I feel that spirit is alive here at the Contemporary Jewish Museum in San Francisco.